Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. First off, I want to say how disappointed I am to be doing another video about the run-up to war in North Korea. It is completely ridiculous, completely senseless, no benefit in it for anyone except maybe one person, perhaps. Uh, it's just tragic, the whole thing. And by the way, when I say war in North Korea, I know that technically there's been a state of war between the United States and North Korea for the past 50 years. I, I'm talking about the war when people are actually dying, a horrible war, not just this nastiness back and forth that's been going on. And, and if you can't tell the difference between what's been going on in the past 50 years and the actual thing that might be coming, I don't know that I can offer you much help. <laughs> or anyone can, perhaps. We continue to march forward, as it seems, over the weekend. Donald Trump said that this is the calm before the storm. And he's in a position to say that because he could start a storm, uh, you know, at his leisure. Uh, and then just uh, today he uh, said flat out that no other options uh, have thus worked, uh, have worked thus far with North Korea, uh, diplomacy, any of that stuff. Um, so by that logic, military intervention must, that must work, you know, because, you know, the U United States has such a good track record with interventions around the world. They always, they always work out so swimmingly, don't they? So all the other things didn't work, so that means that a military intervention, that's going to achieve our goals. Um, obviously, I've got some dark humor. I'm Irish. I can have dark humor, right? Black humor. That's an Irish thing. Uh, but that's a thing on my channel. You know, we're talking about the end of the world, but, you know, why not have some fun with it? And that's what I want to do today. I want to throw out a challenge to you. Uh, what are the top three things that the average a-hole American who's all like gung-ho, you know, for this, this war that's going to be a cakewalk. They're always going to be a cakewalk, right? Uh, what are the top three things that they're going to be shocked by uh, when, this, when this wonderful adventure starts off? I'm going to offer three of my own, and I would love to hear some of yours in the comments. Remember, three things. Number one for me, uh, oh my god, new, uh, Japan got nuked. What are we going to do? That's where we get our video games from. So that's number one. Number two, oh my god, I can't believe that more than a couple soldiers are dying per day. I, I, isn't that the way wars usually go? You hear about like just a couple casualties, they mount up over years and years, and maybe you get a couple hundred or thousands. Like, but holy crap, we're having hundreds and thousands per day. That's number two. Number three, are you telling me that something called an EMP knocked out power to almost all of the United States and we're not going to have electrical power back at all for months or even possibly years? I, who could have seen that coming? Those are my three. What are your three? What are the top three ridiculous things that people are going to be shocked by that are totally predictable and you can totally see coming, but we're still going to act surprised when they happen? That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.